Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video, we will be learning three simple Excel settings that can increase your productivity and efficiency for working in Microsoft Excel. So without further delays, let's get started. The very first setting we're going to look at is the auto save. These all different settings can be enabled or disabled otherwise using the file section. So before we move ahead, let me just tell you a few advantages of using the auto save. Auto save basically helps you save the file while you're working. And if you have designated and assigned a certain number of minutes after which the file should autosave, it will do so. And this way, your important work will not be lost or deleted if you accidentally press the button of close. The second important thing that autosave does is, is the option of auto recovering information. This is something that can really come in handy when you're especially working with long extensive data and you forget to save something. And as a result, the laptop or the PC you're working on shuts down. If you have to recover back the same file on which you were working back again, for that, you can enable the option of save auto recover information. According to your need, you can flexibly adjust the time for which auto saving or auto recovering for the information in the file will occur. The second one is proofing. Proofing really helps us out with the spellings, grammar, and the way text is written and helps us even arrange and sift out the problems from the data, which can otherwise be grammatically and spelling wise wrong. For the last calculation option, this is something which really proves helpful and it really saves your time because you cannot every time make changes to your file and then see that the cell that is referenced or has a particular function or formula relating to the cell in which you made changes, if it is really coming in effect or not. So enabling automation and calculation options actually helps you automate the changes and the resulting formula to be changed as well. This means that if in case of any calculation, I wrote a certain number, let's say number five, and according to the formula or the function I have, that five is supposed to multiply by another number in a reference cell. So if I change those values, so the actual or the eventual calculation will be updated automatically. The very first thing we have is the autosave. For autosave, we will go to file, go to the options, and over here we'll have this dialog box popping. Here, we'll first of all go to save, and there are a bundle of options that you can choose from, uncheck, tick them according to your preferences. The very first thing says save files in this format. So every time the file is saved, which format do you prefer? Do you prefer it to be a Unicode text? Do you prefer it to be MSDOS? Whatever. So you can select the type of format from here. The second is ticking this option of save auto recover information after every how many minutes? If you want, you can decrease it as less as one minute or increase it as much as you want. This time is entirely dependent upon your need. The next thing says about auto recover expectations. So if you disable auto recover for this workbook only, so as a result, what happens is that this would no longer be recovered if you do not save the changes. So that's something we do not want. So we'll uncheck it. The next part, which is the second last one, deals with offline editing options for document management server files. So if you want that the checked out files should be saved, so you can see where do you want it to be saved, the server drafts location on this computer or the office document cache. So I don't really prefer using this option. So I think it's better for me, for my use to be office document cache. The very last thing is preserve visual appearance of this workbook. You can choose what colors will be seen in previous version of Excel. So you can quickly go here or you can copy colors from somewhere, wherever you want. You can even modify the colors if you want that. And once you click on it, okay, this would actually help you out really in navigating and finding out your files too. The next part that we're going to deal here is the proofing. What about proofing? Proofing actually helps us with capitalization 
and spelling check as discussed earlier. So we get back to file options. We go to proofing. Now, there are a list of things that you want to ignore or you want to keep in mind and you want Mr. Excel to keep a check on that. The very first thing is autocorrect options. Change how Excel corrects and formats the text as you type. So in autocorrection, you have further options with reference to the capitalization, whether do you want the first letter of sentence to be capitalized, names of days, and there are a bundle of things that you can go ahead with. But there are further options as well for autocorrect with reference to the actions and the math autocorrect. So this is something that you can explore in your free time and see which of these options really come in handy. Moving on to the second thing, which says when correcting spellings in Microsoft Office programs. I particularly do not like a lot of interference into my working. So that's why I have tick marked ignoring the uppercase words that contain numbers so that I do not have those red jaggy lines everywhere in my Excel. So you can go ahead, click on custom dictionaries and you can select some dictionary lists here too from where this Excel will take help and take reference for correcting any spelling or any grammatical mistake. So that's pretty much it for proofing. Now we're looking at the last Excel setting for this video for increasing productivity, which is the use of automated calculations. This pathway, which is written to go to files option, formulas, and then calculation options. If you want, you can go ahead and use it. But a simpler way is to use the ribbon on the top. We have the formulas. We'll directly go to the section of calculation and find calculation options here. Now, in this case, I have this automatic option tick for calculation options. But I'm going to do something right here for you to see the difference if this is manually being managed or if it is automatic. What difference does it make? So in this case, let's say I have the value 76 and 45. Now, in D11 cell, I want such a formula which actually multiplies this C11 value with DB11 value. And when I press enter, I'm going to see this number is right here, which is a product of multiplying B11 cell information with C11. Now, if let's say I am a regular user of Excel sheet and I have to keep updating stuff, if I change the value to 98, you're going to see that the eventual answer that we had to achieve after multiplication has automatically been modified. So this is what automation does for a calculation. Now let's look at how the values will be affected if we change these two reference cells. If I change the calculation options from automatic to manual. In this case, you're going to observe that there is no change that comes by in the last cell, which is having the reference cells formula for calculating a certain value. If I want it to be changed, I'll have to go here, go to the formula bar, and then press enter for it to be updated. This is something that can cause you a lot of inconvenience. A lot can go wrong if you're someone who keeps updating files again and again. You can't really every time go and select the formula bar and then press enter for the update. That is something that's going to be pretty hard. So in order to avoid this hassle and make your calculations more appropriate, you can go ahead and select automatic. Yes, there's another option of automatic except for data tables. This can also be in handy if you do not want this particular Excel option of calculation options to be done automatically to interfere with your data tables. So it is entirely your choice. It is optional to choose whichever of the options you want. For me, I feel comfortable with automatic and I would like Excel to interfere into my problems and help me solve them. So that is how we can simply use autosave, proofing and calculation in order to be more productive. Inside these three options, we also discussed that which of the options should be turned on and off for better productivity. That was all for this lesson. Thank you very much. And I'm really grateful you made this far. Take care. Goodbye. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And 
Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.